WJC investigator Mike Elgren has more on the damage caused by these strong winds over the last 24 hours. Mike. Vic, some 2,700 BGE customers are still without power, and the winds are still whipping out here. This school closed just after noon, and parents tell us they're glad it did. Howling winds led to thousands of power outages and closed several schools from Baltimore City to Harford County. And I'm glad they did give us a call so that we could come on over and get the kids. How, how bad is the wind out here? Terrible. <laughs> the gusts toppled a light pole in Hamden and took down trees like this one on Granada Avenue in northwest Baltimore. Davis Lee went to inspect the damage to his relative's car. Everything was all right until I seen the back. When the tree hit that back and, and bust that wind out, because I know how much the wind is caught. It's the worst windstorm since March of last year. Winds then closed down parts of I-95 and killed a woman who went to check on her mail in Baltimore County. BGE workers have restored power to more than 25,000 customers in this latest storm. Here they are along Baltimore National Pike. There are situations where if it is excessively windy, it is dangerous for the guys and gals to go up in bucket trucks. And so any type of work that requires going up in a bucket has to be delayed until the winds die down. We've been fortunate in that we've still been able to restore a lot of customers despite any restrictions that might be in play to, because of the wind. This same storm, called a bomb cyclone because its intensity grew so fast, caused blizzard-like conditions in the Midwest, tornadoes in the south, snow in Las Vegas, and scaffolding to collapse from high winds in Syracuse, New York. In Maryland, the winds will gradually die down into the night. And as for those power outages, there are 1,528 BGE customers in Baltimore County alone who don't have power. That's the area that's hardest hit right now. There are also limited wind restrictions on some of Maryland's biggest bridges. Reporting live in South Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Thank you, Mike. Remember to download WJZ's weather app to keep track of our changing weather. Get hourly, daily, and extended forecasts, plus severe weather warnings. Just search WJZ Weather and get our app.